Welcome, in front of me is an Asus Zenfone 8 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of this device. So when you boot it up for the first time you'll be presented with this welcoming screen right here where you get to choose your language. Now I'm gonna stick with English so let's go and from here we can connect to either Wi-Fi or mobile data and Wi-Fi. Now mobile data will only require you to insert a SIM card. Now I'm not planning to insert a SIM card so I'm just gonna press continue and stick with the Wi-Fi only and here if I want to I can connect to Wi-Fi uh, by picking one from the list or I can tap on next and skip it if I don't feel like doing it right now. Next page we have end user license agreement and for some reason it already comes checked uh, by default so by tapping next you automatically agree to it. Now if you want to read it you can tap on more and read what you're exactly agreeing to. Now we have know your privacy rights. Um, so we have some privacy rights uh, which at the end uh, is the question are you above the age of 16 which I guess there might be a little bit of a uh, legal thing uh, for them not being able to spy on you if you're below age 16 so let's select no and progress further. Now if you connect it to Wi-Fi you most likely won't see this page but because I decided to skip it it does pop me up with this um, date and time settings. Now it is actually set up correctly and did detect the time well, right so I just press next and completely ignore it anyway. And this takes me to the Google services page. So here we have the location, uh, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. And you can read exactly what these do. Um, and if you don't like them, simply disable them and then scroll down and tap on accept. And you can set up a screen lock if you want to. Um, not gonna really bother from it, but if you want, just pick one from the list. Have some smart key, then ACES account. So if you want that, you can log into it. ACES data transfer. So here you have the option to copy the data from your old device to the new one or set it up as new by tapping on skip. Choosing your team, have the choice between light and dark. And that finishes up the setup. Now it does give you a little guide on how to use gesture navigation because it never gave us the option to choose if we want gestures or the uh, typical navigation. So as you can see, it gives us the animation to skip or swipe from either side of the screen to go back, swipe up to go home and swipe up and hold to go to recent. And then also gives us a quick guide on the one-handed mode. And there we go, that's the setup. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.